Today I'm going to show you how to transform your Windows setup to look like a Mac. macOS offers a lot of great features and a unique design. That's why people oftentimes choose a Mac over a PC. You might think that transforming your PC to look like a Mac is pretty difficult and time consuming. But the good news is it only takes about 6 minutes of your time, it's totally free and it's really simple. We've specifically tested and analyzed a lot of different tools to narrow it down to only 5 essential steps for you guys. By the way, we are unknown tech channel specialized on customization and we already made tons of videos to this topic. All of the links in this video are in the description, but if you want a place where they are all organized in one place, please go check out our website. Link is in the description. Alright, let's dive in. First up, we are going to change our mouse cursor to the classic Mac OS look. This mouse cursor is a small yet very effective way to get the Mac feeling. Start by opening up the first link in the video description to get to this page. Once you're in there, click on download right here. After downloading it, go into your file explorer to the downloads folder and extract the file. Once you're done with that, the extracted folder should have opened up. In this folder, search for a file called install. Right click on it and in the menu that opens up, left click on install. Now just click on open and the installation process is already finished. To activate the cursor, open up your settings and go into accessibility. In here, scroll down a bit until you find a point called mouse. Click on it and in the next menu, simply click on mouse again. Now you just need to look for additional mouse settings and open up this window. Now just go to the pointer setting and open up the schemes. In here we want to select the scheme called El Capitan since that's the one we just downloaded. In this window select yes to confirm your change. Once you did that you have this clean and minimalistic cursor right here. An absolute macOS classic. But if you already like this first step you're going to like the second step even more. You know how Apple has this menu bar on the top of the screen. I will show you how you can very quickly get exactly that. Start by opening the second link in the video description. On this page, click on the big blue download button. It's really hard to not find it. Once you did that, go ahead and execute the file. Now you just need to follow all of the steps of the installation. I don't want to bore you, and I think you don't need a tutorial for this step. Simply click next until you're finished. For the top bar, you also need a second installation called Drop Top 4. Click on the third link in the video description to get to this page. Once again, click on download. On this pop-up, click on I have it already since we just installed it. Now go to the downloads from your browser and execute the file you just downloaded. Look at the new loading animation of the mouse cursor right here. Doesn't it look so much better than the Windows original? Now this window should have popped up. Click on install and wait for the app to open up. When it opened up, we can follow the installation guide of the app. Start by clicking on continue and select the language you prefer. Right here, you should click on the option on the left, but you can also choose another one based off your personal preferences. Now just keep on clicking continue until you get to this step. Right here, you want to go with Mac OS Sequoia. For the rest of the installation, keep clicking on continue until it's finished. Now you have this absolutely stunning and functional menu bar at the top, but it's still missing a little bit of love. So that's what we are going to do now. Start by left clicking on the logo in the top left corner. Click on set home icon and product logos. In here go ahead and select the Apple logo right here. Now you have the Apple logo which gives it a little more macOS vibes, but the top bar is still a bit cluttered with logos. So we are going to take care of that real quick. When you left click on any of the icons on the right, this menu unfolds here. You can select the single icons and untoggle the ones you don't want to have. Let's do that. In this menu, you can actually also link websites and discords. We now actually also have our own discord and website. Feel free to join our discord and check out our website if you have questions about the customization or if you just want to be part of our community. Link to both is in the video description. But let's continue with the customization. These two steps before are really worthless without the following few steps and especially the next one. Right now we are going to choose a classic macOS wallpaper. Start by searching macOS wallpaper. Once you did that, go into pictures and select macOS wallpaper that suits your style the best. I will go with this one right here since it's a unique selling point from Apple. Right click on the picture and either select set as background or download the picture and set it as your background like that. Go ahead and right click on the downloaded picture in your file explorer and select set as desktop background. Now the setup already looks way better, but what would macOS be without the classic widgets? For this step, we are going to use a tool called mon Skin. Go ahead and click on the fourth link in the video description to get to the correct website. After downloading it, once again execute the file to get the widgets. Now just click install and wait for the app to be ready. When the app finished downloading, it should look like this. Go ahead and click on widgets in the top left corner. In here, activate the clock, calendar, monitoring, weather, notes and the timer by toggling on the switch like shown in the video. Now all of the widgets are cluttered in the corner like this and we still have to sort them by dragging them across the home screen. Go ahead and drag all of the widgets except for the clock one on the right side of the screen like shown in the video right here. All of the widgets on the right side should look something like this after you sorted them. Now just go ahead and align the clock on the left side. After doing that right click on it and select white for the digital appearance of the clock. Now let's take a quick look at what we've already accomplished. It's quite amazing isn't it? But if you look closely you can still see one point that's missing, the taskbar. Let's take care of that really quick in the last step. For the taskbar we are going to use a tool called Windhawk. 
click on the fifth link in the video description to get to the official WinTalk page. Follow the same procedure as before. Download and execute the downloaded file. I don't want to bore you with the installation process, once again just click next until you're done. When the app opened up, go ahead and click on browse for Mars in the middle. Right here, look for a mod called Windows 11 Taskbar Styler and click on details. If you found the right mod, go ahead and click on install and accept the risks. Don't worry, this tool is safe to use and has been tested thoroughly by us. When the installation is finished, you can open up the settings tab right here. In there, you can choose between a lot of different themes, but we are going to go with the one called Squircle. And also after selecting the theme, don't forget to save the settings. As you can see, we now have this absolutely clean and minimalistic taskbar right here. It honestly fits perfectly to the rest of the setup. Alright, we've reached the end of this customization journey, and I must say, your desktop has truly been taken to a whole new level. Think back to where we started, a basic setup that we transformed step by step. We added the mouse cursor and the sleek top menu bar, chose the perfect wallpaper, integrated some stylish widgets, and topped it all off with a polished taskbar. The process wasn't as hard as it might have sounded, and the result speaks for itself. If you made it this far, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscription. It would mean a lot if you could also drop a comment with your ideas or suggestions for future videos. For those of you who want to dive even deeper, don't forget to visit my website where you can find detailed guides and additional tips on desktop customization. Also you can follow me on Instagram. And if you're ever looking for some help or just a community to share your creative ideas with, join our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my upcoming videos. Until then, keep exploring, stay creative and enjoy your new desktop setup. Stay sober and peace out.